like you lot. Um, I've got to do this charger, but the first I thought I'd say I mentioned I was getting on the old Segway, didn't I? Well, it rained, and the nice, uh, the nice, very nice um, man there. He's very nice, and he said uh, that because it was raining, uh, we can rebook it for free. Uh, so we rebooked it for the next bank holiday in May. So we'll be going on on the old Segway, and then it was good. Um, he let us have a little go anyway, but the other lot had uh, cans of beers in their hands, so we couldn't um, they couldn't have a go. But he let me, Michael, and James have a little go, just a little go in the woods. It was alright. But now I've got to do this charger. Now what had happened with it? You seen the other video, didn't you? Where it was buzzing, and I am not convinced that it's um, that it's okay. I, I'm, I'm, it's falling. Yeah, the transformer in there is buzzing far too much. Um, even for a transformer, they do, they do buzz, but that's, that's not right. Um, and I rang up, I rang up um, Machine Mark <coughs> at past eight when they open up in the morning. And one of the engineers, I rang up the aftercare team, what they call aftercare for after sales. And it was one of the engineers who answered the phone. And he was sort of arguing with me, and I, I was like, look, it's 40. I don't care what you say, but I'm I am not happy with it as a customer, yeah. And then he, he said to me, I, I'm the one that tested it and it, it's fine. I said I don't I want my money back then. I want to return it. And I want my money back. So then it, he kind of went oh I had a bit of a strop, handed me over to somebody else, a woman. Um, she was all right, but she was a little bit she had a small amount of an attitude as well. But in the end, she agreed to take it back. They're going to collect it on Tuesday, so I've got to put it in that box, pack it up and put it, pack it up again and send it off again to the, in that box. And uh, she agreed in the end that um, they would take it back, they'd look at it again and put uh, a view for um, exchange. So basically that means they're probably going to send it back to me again with, with that. But if they send it back to me and all he's done is put a bead of world along the top of the transformer I'm going to send it back again and say no, fuck you, I want my money back that's what I'm going to say because that ain't right you know what I mean, I bought it brand new it should work they shouldn't have to stick a load of weld on the transformer to stop it from buzzing because it shouldn't buzz it's brand new if it was six months old and it started buzzing fair enough I'd just stick the bit of weld on the transformer myself but I bought it brand new man so so that's going to go back so uh, machine mark, so I won't have a charger for a while, but I got that little shitty one, but I wanted a proper one, didn't I? So that's gonna that's, uh, hopefully they will send me um, they will send me a new one, I hope. Because um, you know the machine mark man, they're a, a decent reputable company I would hope. The woman that was on the phone last time, she was really nice. She said to me, Oh no, no, it's no problem. We'll get it looked at, we'll get you a new one if it can't be fixed. But the idiot just sent it back like that, so what can you do, man? So, yeah, I'm gonna stick that in that box now. And after I've stuck it in the box, I've got to do some repair work on the, the cars. Oh, yeah, by the way, oh, it's Saturday today, though. Bollocks, Tom said to me that he could get the car in this weekend. So, I've got tomorrow whether he's gonna do it or not. I don't know, man. But oh, man, it's taking so long. I can't wait to get that car back up and running again, but all them parts are just sitting there, man. There's that new turbo and everything, just sitting there. But um, to be fair to him, he's very busy. So he said, uh, I'll get it in at the weekend. But today's it's the end of Saturday now, it's Saturday night. Well, no, 10 o'clock maybe, Saturday night. So I've got tomorrow, and whether he'll be able to do it or not, I don't know. So I'm hoping he can, and I'm going to get it all on video, the, the, the start and everything on the video first start up afterwards and, and um, the first drive he don't want me to but I'm gonna well it's boxed up now ready to go but um yeah it's a bit of a shame that I had to do that man because uh, you know it's just one of them things I suppose isn't it something breaks goes back but I don't mind sending it back once is when I had to send it back and then they're like no no it's fine it's fine it's not bloody fine is it so that's going back, so I will do another video when it comes back to see what state it's in or whether they've actually done the decent thing and replaced it for a new one. We'll see. 
Now I'm going to go indoors and do a bit more tuning on my truck, I think. Needs a bit of tuning, it does, so I'll do that, I think. There's some more RC videos coming up on the RC channel, by the way, if you want to stick, if you, if you want to tune into them.